the human hand and the hand that robot has are completely different so uh, what may be easy or difficult for us it may not be the same for the robot so we want that robot itself learns through that experience what will happen is let's say this is the object the arm will go on top of the object so if i consider like a cylindrical object there are like ways to grasp it given the configuration of the robot hand is only parallel jaw so there is limitation on the kind of like uh, kind of configuration in it, in which it can grasp the object in the beginning where we don't have any data it will just do random grasp so in random there will be some positive and there will be some negative data points and through that data points it will learn on table there are different objects so where the object is we get that position through a camera which is like a kinect on it as soon as it gets good data we biased our sampling our our attitude toward those good data to get more and more positive and the whole process when we talk about like deploying in a real world environment so it's like a very big challenge so we are we, we want to solve that challenge but right now uh, what we are solving is like a baby step toward that i will give you one industrial application i don't know which company is doing that but they have trash and they want to segregate trash into some kind of like uh, this is a recyclable and this is not recyclable so there they want to grasp different objects and what happening is there is a track build going on and the uh, trash is coming so they they don't know exactly where the location is and if they know the location as well they want to know in which angle it should grasp so that they will they can segregate the things so in that they were using like some kind of this kind of techniques to like grasp the different objects in industry setting it won't be that useful but when we go to our household environments like what that is the goal of roboticist right they want robots to deploy in homes so in that case you don't know exactly where the object is in which configuration it is so in that scenarios it will be really helpful